Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Seven Sunderland. Now of course, this is the episode. This is the Champions League final against Manchester City to decide whether this save continues or maybe one more season. I don't know. We'll see how the game goes. But I have just played the last game of the season in the Premier League against Southampton and we're 1-4-2. Goal from Jadon Sancho, Lincoln and Esparza very late on and an own goal from Diogo Leite gave us the 4-2 victory. And this is how the final table lies. We are 6 points clear from Manchester United in 2nd and interestingly we're 21 points clear of Manchester City in 4th who, who will be our opponents in the Champions League final. Just a few other bits and bobs here. Lincoln did miss out on the top goal scorer award that eventually went to Fabio Almeida of Tottenham Hotspur. But he did score 31 goals in only 22 appearances in the Premier League, which is absolutely fantastic. He's proven himself to me to be the more competent striker than Sugo this season at the very least. John Pickford came second in the Golden Glove. While we seemed to struggle a bit to hear in this competition, but it didn't really matter this year. We clear manager of the year and we do have players in the team of the year. Pretty much our entire defence, Fifa, Luis and Milagres with Zahir in the central of midfield, which is very interesting actually, Zahir, not a player who made too many appearances in the Premier League, 15 starts with 16 substitute appearances, but he did manage to get into the team of the year. So we're here, it is Champions League final day, and we will be picking our first 11, where we'll start with Jordan Pickford in goal, Matteo Rios, Oscar Pfeiffer and Jose Luis will be our centre-backs of choice. We'll start with Althans at right wing back, and we'll start with Milagres at left wing back. We'll play Guendouzi and Esparza in central midfield for today. On the right hand side, we'll start with Jaden Sancho, and on the left, we'll start with Arans with Lincoln up top. We'll have Ruben Diaz, Rickson, Tierney, Endon Belia, Zahir, Rhys Nelson, and Sugo on the bench. This will be the starting 11 to play Manchester City. Let's get into it. Now, they are playing a 4 5 1 formation. Some names you will recognise there, but one in particular who is a scary proposition, David Dawes. They've just signed him from Everton in the January transfer window. I think it was £96 million. And he's an absolutely fantastic English central midfielder, who I was, of course, monitoring, but I wasn't about to pay that much money for him. He's a fantastic player, though. And obviously, the German, who we looked at a few seasons back, who they signed for a big fee, £89 million from Bayern Munich. He is an absolute machine. He's a monster. He's better than our strikers, hands down better than our strikers. So if we are to be successful in a day's game, we are going to have to keep him quiet. But let's let's not dwell on their players too much. Let's try and focus on our own and hopefully come away with a Champions League title. So we'll kick off shooting from left to right in this first half. It all comes down to this one game. Highlight, 17 minutes in, it's Jaden Sancho with the corner. Sancho gets it onto Luis's head, but it goes over. You know what, we're really missing Vignato and Phil Foden in this team. They are really our creative assets going forward. So hopefully the deputies Sancho and Guendouzi can step up and be replaceable. Espars are now in the centre to Guendouzi, to Lincoln, to Sancho. He's got the other lap of Elthans. Can he get the ball in? He can. Lincoln's there and he doesn't beat the keeper. We need to take these opportunities. And that's it, half time. Not too many highlights to speak of. We'll get the boys back out and hopefully we can perform better in this second half. And in this half, we're shooting from right to left. 60 minutes in, not too much in the way of happening in the second half. Two very cagey teams, I would imagine. Highlight, Sancho with a free kick on the edge. He takes the strike, but it's nowhere near troubling Edison. We're going to make some changes. We're going to get Zahir on for Esparza. And we're going to get Reese Nelson on for Jaden Sancho. Hopefully freshen things up in the centre of midfield. And hopefully the pace of Nate Reese Nelson can give their left back some problems. This is 85th minute of the time is just ticking away. It's going to go to extra time unless we can do something here. Zahir, the ball is dispossessed by Guedes and they can break now. Ulbricht, we all know how good he is. He's breaking down this left-hand side. Get the challenge in, lads. Digne to, Lewis, uh, to Cook in the centre. Back to Varane. Bernardo now, dispossessed by Zahir. Can we break now? Reese Nelson on the ball. He plays the ball down the wing for Lincoln when he gets support in the box for him. It's arriving now, Lincoln. Can he get the ball in? Arans. Oh, that was the opportunity. This has gone extra time. And we've just hit the bar. And that's it. Full time. We're going to extra time. We don't, we don't have a good record going into extra time. But we do have substitutions left. So, once this kicks off, 
before this kicks off, I'm going to make another change. Milagres is so good, I sort of don't want to get him off. But he is the weakest in terms of condition, along with Althans. We'll get Rixon on. Rixon's got some qualities that maybe Althans can't provide. And we'll see how that extra time goes. We'll kick off, we'll shoot him from left to right. Highlight Bernardo with a free kick on the edge. He takes a strike and he hits the post for Manchester City. That would have been heartbreaking. Half time of extra time, not a lot is happening. I've got a sneaky suspicion that this is going to penalties. We all know what happened the last time we went to a European final in penalties. Highlight now, just after the kickoff, and Manchester City have the ball in central of midfield. David Dawes has got it now to Bernardo. He's got the run of Zivkovic on the right hand side. He puts it in the back of the net, making it 1 0 Manchester City. Oh no, I think this is it, lads. Don't think we're winning the Champions League this year. David Dawes finds Bernardo Silva in a pocket of space. Milagres gets cut out. Maybe I should have took him off. And that's it. 1-0 Man City. So we're going to make... We are obviously going to make a lot of changes. Right. We've gone overload. We've done everything we can at this point to push the boys forward. Eight minutes to go. Nothing is happening. I'm trying to get the boys forward. But it's not happening for us on this occasion one minute ago you'd imagine this is just going to be the final highlight of the game Gwen Doozy to Luis Enrique Rance ball over the top for Lincoln ah, he's got a lot of work to do here Edison can easily mop that up one minute of extra time to go can we fashion a chance I don't think we can dinier has got it now for Manchester City Dawes to Stones they're just playing it about lovely oh I'm so good I thought this would be our year, Nelson, with the ball in. Edison claims, and that's going to be that for full time. We lose another European final. At least it wasn't penalties. Oh, man. And there's the confirmation. Manchester City win the Champions League. We smashed them in the league, beat them by 21 points. But we couldn't do it on the most important occasion. Reese Nelson wants to talk to leaving uh, Chelsea. You can go, mate. I'm not really bothered. So now that we've got beat in the Champions League, I am definitely, definitely continuing the save. I'm not I'm not going to quit whilst I haven't won a Champions League with Sunderland. He's some of the Champions League winners awards. Pickford won goalkeeper of the season. Jose Luis won defender of the season. We had nobody in midfielder. And Lincoln came second in the forward of the season. So we'll have a look at some of the end of season stuff. This is our best overall 11 according to according to the game. Right Vic still in goal. Pfeiffer, Diaz and Rios at centre-back. Kieran Taney left wing-back. Althans right wing-back. Phil Foden and Guendouzi in the centre with Duncan Watmore on the right, of course. Trinkow on the left and Lincoln up top. End of season awards. Lewis Enrique Arans wins player of the year. Phil Foden with goal of the season. We'll take a look at that. Sign of the season was Esparza in January, so he's obviously had a good impact since coming in. And young player of the season goes to Lincoln. I'll quickly load up the goal of the season. We'll take a look and see how it was. So we've got the ball in midfield here. Phil Fodden, right, I remember this goal now. Phil Fodden darts in from the halfway line. He continues his run, gets in the box and puts it in the far corner. Excellent goal by him. Our season in review, lost in the Champions League final, won the Premier League, lost in the fifth round of the FA Cup, lost in the final of the League Cup and of course we won the Community Shield. But as you can see, we were never ever out of the running really. After the th we went top in the third game, and at that point, it was our, our title, really. I'm not going to go through everybody in the squad, but we'll quickly talk about some key men who I might struggle to keep a hold of in the summer. Oscar Pfeiffer, of course, one of the best centre-backs in the world, if not the very best. He's only got two years left on his deal, and at the minute, he's just not interested in talking to me because he's not happy at the club. To be honest with you, his face has been tripping him up all season. He's been unhappy since the summer, really. Um... I'll monitor his situation, hopefully try and get in a contract talks with him. He never as much money as he wants, I could I don't care. This sort of player doesn't come around. I, I couldn't replace him if I sold him. Doesn't matter for what amount of money. So yeah, Oscar Pfeiffer's one to keep an eye on. Matteo Rios, another one. Two years left on his deal. He is happy at the club, so I will be able to get him locked down to a new deal. I'm going to do this right now. He's only wanting a four grand a week increase. We'll try and get rid of his yearly wage clause and... <laughs> just to try and scam him a bit more but he's going to sign a new five-year deal and that'll do for me Jose Luis has come into his own this season he's made that centre-back position he's on he will be without a doubt our one of our key men next season 
Althans has come on well, as has Milagres. Milagres is probably the best left-back in the world on the game at the minute. He's been being chased by Barcelona all season. But he has got he did sign a new contract, I believe. So he's got four years left on his deal. So he'll be going absolutely nowhere. Guendouzi might be one who I might look to sell in the summer. He's on a big wage. He's not going to be first choice at all next season. Esparza and Phil Foden will be in that role. Manchester United and Real Madrid were interested in January. We did have an offer of about, I think it was about 75 million for Guendouzi. I should have probably accepted it then, but I did try and negotiate and they withdrew. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with him. Similar situation with Endon Belly. He's not going to be a starter next season. And we've got a lot of boys coming back from loan who I would like to promote to the first team squad and potentially take their two places. So that could be a good source of revenue. Gwen Duzina and Don Bellier could move on this season. Jaden Sancho is being sort of ruined by injuries. He did make 32 appearances this season with nine substitute appearances. Uh, a good return from him as well, 11 goals and 16 assists. But if he wasn't English, if he was some random nation, I probably would be replacing him. But we'll have to wait and see. Luis Enrique Arantz has really come to his own this season. He's been sitting on the bench for a long time for us, really. And now he's made that left wing a position he's on. He's good. He's probably our best striker, actually. He's probably better than Lincoln and Maximiliano Sugo. But I'm really enjoying his work on this left-hand side. And hopefully he can become a natural in that position in the coming season. Lincoln's been performing absolutely excellently. He only played 18 games in the Premier League and got 31 goals, which is absolutely ridiculous. Lincoln and Sugo, one of them might go. I've got a young boy coming back from loan. I believe he was at Liverpool on the loan this season. Tobias Finest. I'll quickly show you him. This guy I want to promote into the first team next season. He got 14 goals and 6 assists in 26 games in the Premier League for Liverpool. This guy I want in the squad next season. So that means one of Lincoln or Sugo will go. And preferably Sugo. He's, he's had his face up his ass the whole season. Similar to, similar to Pfeiffer. So we'll wait and see what happens with that. Vignato and Phil Fodden obviously come back from long-term injuries. Phil Fodden, one to five days still to return. And Vignato still got five to ten days. His was a four-month injury. And he has lost a bit of pace, actually. So, I don't know. Do we need a new right-winger? Someone to compete. We've obviously got Reese Nelson, who wants to leave to go to Chelsea. He's worth a lot of money, but he's English. That's the problem. A lot of our players who are wanted who I might be tempted to move on are English players which means I would have to get some English boys in but we'll have to wait and see well that's going to be that for this season another gut-wrenching disappointing end with the defeat of Manchester City in the Champions League final but we'll bounce back new plans in the summer there might be some big changes depending on if people leave the club but we have a healthy transfer budget of about 230 million to spend and I've already signed quite a few young lads who are going to come in the summer, which we'll review next time. If you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you enjoy my content, why not get yourself subscribed? But until next time, take it easy.